So believe it or not, but some of your stuff might be in one of these colored boxes. Because the next time you buy a pair of jeans, a cuddly toy, a flat screen TV, a fridge, your bed, a bottle of Prosecco, it's probably come from ship onto rail right here. Welcome to the Freight Escape. Welcome to the port of Felixstowe, Britain's busiest container port. And it's also one of the key parts of the Anglia route. Why? Because it's pivotal to one of the fastest growing sectors in rail freight, intermodal. The team here unload four million of these containers every single year. That's on 2,000 of these jumbo ships. They employ two and a half thousand people here. And I cannot wait to show you round. Running this place must be a huge job. So I met someone who's at the heart of it all. So Martin, just tell me about the scale of the rail operations here. Well, we move around about one million standard containers through our rail operation every year here in Felixstowe. And that saves in excess of 100 million HGV miles every single year, which obviously helps with road congestion and improves environmental performance. Yeah. It's highly efficient too. For example, you can fit 250 under the counter fridges in one single container. And Martin, just tell me about the importance of rail freight here. 29% of all the cargo passing through the site is moved by rail, and that contribution is definitely increasing. We have 76 train movements every single day. That's 38 arrivals and 38 departures carried by the freight operators, and they obviously help us to run this place efficiently. Martin, thank you so much for showing us around. You're welcome. There is more amazing stuff coming on the freight escape, so contain yourself. I caught up with Tim from GB Rail Freight to find out how they work together to keep all of this stuff moving 24 hours a day. Tim, it's a pleasure to meet you. What does it take to move all of this incredible stuff out of here? Collaboration is the honest answer. Working with our partners here at the Port of Felix, so working with Network Rail, working with our customers to understand their challenges and ensuring that everybody knows what they're doing and when they're doing it. And why is Intermodal growing so much? Uh, a number of different reasons. It's, it's safe, it's cost effective, it's sustainable from an economic perspective as well as it being a resilient form of transport. During the period of COVID, we demonstrated the value that we bring to the economy by ensuring that supply chains kept going um, and that we were able to transport goods that people use every day to inland terminals and throughout the country. Tim, it's been really interesting to meet you. Thank you. So how is Network Rail helping to grow the rail freight operation here? I met two of our colleagues to find out. So Steve, just help me understand what we've done to upgrade the Felix Stowe branch line. Well, in 2019, we completed a £60.4 million investment to increase capacity on the branch, installing 1.4 kilometres of additional track, as well as upgrading signalling, level crossings and building a new bridge. And Steve, what are the benefits of that work? Well, the number of trains has increased already, and the scheme allows for up to 48 in each direction every day, which will create a much bigger role for rail. And Kate, what can the Network Rail and our colleagues do to help grow freight operations? Well, I think there's a role for everyone, whatever their department, whether it's signalling, whether it's maintenance, whether it's rail planning. There's something we all can do to help freight run on time. And that's really important because we all rely on the products that Rail Freight brings us, whether it's the laptops we're working on at the moment, whether it's the um, jeans we're wearing, whether it's the breakfast we had this morning. Um, it's all relied on Rail Freight services running on time to their destinations. Okay, Steve, it's a pleasure to meet you. So there we are, that is Felix though, where the entire global world of trade gets unloaded onto freight so that you and I can have the everyday essential items that we depend on. And it's also the end of our journey, unfortunately, but what a place to come because it demonstrates the real potential for growth in rail freight. Everyone in Network Rail is somehow connected to this network. And by supporting the move to freight, we are accelerating the shift to rail. And it means that we have a more sustainable future.